hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see about the union and union all transformation so union and union all transformation generally we use to merge two or more data frame of the same schema or structure for taking example suppose i have one data frame one i have second data frame two and these two i want to combine then i can use a union and union all it is similar to the sql in a sql also we perform a union operation right here also it works in the same way let's take with the example suppose i have a two data frame this is my first data frame where I have a employee ID 1 to 6 information I have another data frame here I have a 7 to 12 information now you can see schema also the same we have a employee ID name salary and the location column here also we have a same employee ID name salary and location column and their data types and everything is same and we have a same number of column available in the both the places now this this is the scenario the scenario is like we should have a same schema and the same structure so you can see we have a employee id he name salary and the location similar kind of the structure is also available here and the data type is also almost same now if you want to combine these two then we can use a union so whenever you will combine this so what will be the output you will get you will get a output like this so you will get the first and then the second means all the records you will get so this is a union so with the help of the union this will be the output i will get uh, this will merge two data frame and this, this will be the output of the all the records we will get so let me open my databricks account so this is my databricks account here let's create a data frame let's try to perform the same operation so what i am doing i am importing a library first is the pyspark second is the from pyspark sql function i am importing the spark session you can see i have a this data you can see we have a James sales and New York and this all the values and I have a few columns so you can see employee name department state salary age bonus similarly I have another data too uh, I have a columns so with this data and the column I want to create a data frame so how actually I can create so I have to write df spark dot create data frame so Previously we have seen like if we have a data that is available in a CSV format and if we are uploading then how actually we were creating a data frame is part dot read dot CSV. Now suppose you have a data like this you have a data and the columns and based on that if you want to create a data frame so how actually we can create we have to pass df spark dot create data frame and then we have to pass the data as well as the uh, schema. So what we have to write here data equal to the data equal to the data one what is our data so first we have to define what is the data data equal to the data one this is the data and what is my schema that also we have to design so schema is equal to the columns this is the columns which we are defining right so that we have to write columns and after that we have to do df dot so if i'll do that i will be able to create a one data frame with the help of this now here also if you have to create a same data frame let's create a data frame 2 and here also we have to write in the same way spark dot you can see i have a employee name department state salary age bonus and these are the data based on that data frame got created I have another one with the data too. So here what I will write df2 I am creating spark dot read dot data frame sorry spark dot create data frame I have to first pass the data equal to the data 2 and also I have to pass the schema which is the column 2 columns 2 and after that I will just use the df2 dot so so this will be my second uh, data frame we have a employee name and all the others details now these two data frame i want to merge so what is the first condition first con condition is the our data frame schema should be same same so if i will check the schema for the df uh, we have a same schema in the df2 also if i will check that in a df2 dot print schema if i will do the schema is almost same you can see we have a employer names string department string everything is string long this all the format now what actually we want to do we want to uh, combine this so how actually we can perform a union operation first you have to write the first data frame then you have to write a union 
and after that you have to write the second one df2 this is the simple step df dot union and after that you have to pass the second data frame dot so if i'll do let me execute so i should get all the record you can see first four record from the first data frame then the other another data frame so like this actually we can combine this so this is for the union if you want to perform a union all then we can use a df dot union all and uh, df2 dot so in this case also you will get the record so i am getting the same output so but union both are looking same right this is these are not uh, removing the duplicates so in the case of the union also i am getting all the duplicate records in the case of the union all also i am getting a duplicate records and this union all actually got deprecated from the spark 2 version generally it is recommended to use a union only not a union all if you want to have a unique records then what actually you can use df dot union df2 and after that also you can pass the dot distinct if you want to have only the unique record then you can pass dot distinct dot so if you will do you should get the unique records only so union and union all both are uh, looking same but if you will use a dot distinct you will get only the unique record you can see i have a total seven records but in the case when i am applying a union and union all i am getting a duplicate records also the multiple records also but in the case of distinct this uh, unique records only i am getting so like that the, if you had to combine two data frame we can use a union and union all this will not remove the duplicates and it is recommended to use a union only not union all and if you want to have a duplicate if you want to remove the duplicate record then you can also use a distinct so i hope you got the idea